now, Sai here. Well, husband's been making a huge clubhouse for the grandkids. And it has a little thing on the top of it. Oh. Uh, cupola? Cupola? I don't know how to say it. But I could Google it. Why don't I do that? Cupola. 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 I'm making a cupola. So the direction said to cut up a whole bunch of different pieces of wood in different lengths, which I did. Then I laid them out in these octagonal patterns and I sanded away all of the rough edges. Then I used some outdoor type wood glue and I glued the edges together and then went through with the brad nailer for some extra support. Then I had to cut 48 of these size of boards. Alrighty, for uh, this other ring here, it's the fascia. I have to draw this design and then cut it out like this. And so here's one board. It was basically an arc, so I measured it out and then placed some clamps at the ends and then used a plastic ruler and I bent it in between the clamps to make the arc I needed for the design. And then I cut that first one out on a scroll saw and I'm not sure why I have gloves on here, but I do. And then I used that as a template to cut out the rest of the remaining seven. I had to cut 16 of these. And then I had to make diagonal cuts in each one of them along the length of each piece. I started the hard way by making the marks on each individual piece and then I laid them all out together and I used the speed square and I marked a whole bunch of them at one time and that worked really well. I used my frame jig to cut out half an inch deep along each of those lines that I had marked. The thing is the directions didn't say that I needed to do half of them one direction and half of them the other direction. So I cut all of them the same way, not realizing this was going to mess things up later. So I continued on in my naive bliss. Well, I need to make these boards now and I have to figure out a 70 degree angle and a 40 degree angle. And I don't know how to use this thing. I'm going to Google how to use it, see how to figure out my 70 degree angle, because I see it right there, 70 degrees, but how do I get it? I don't know. Hey, there's a three minute video. So I watched that video and I tried to do what he said a few different ways. And I tried and I tried and I tried again, but I just couldn't get it. Okay, that was very difficult. That was just sawdust and wood. So sawdust and wood just taught me how to do this, except he didn't really explain everything that I needed to know because I don't know. Man, it's frustrating. So I kept on trying, but nope, 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 nope. Ah! Okay, asked husband. He showed me how to do stuff. Um, he got a phone call. And then as we we're talking, he got another phone call. And then he got off that phone call and he was helping me again and got another phone call. And so I just Googled it. 40 degree angle. Okay, you have no idea how frustrated it is, I am that I can't figure this out. So, you went it the easy way. Cheating. Cheating way. Not that one. Just this one. And this one. No. Okay, we got it. We got it. Woo! We got it. Woo! We got it. So I cut it on the bandsaw and I was super excited until I got to looking at it. Okay, it looks off to me. Does that look on to you? It doesn't look right. This doesn't look straight. It, it, it doesn't look right at all. Just long on each side. Ah, that's why the side is too short. Ah, frustrating. 
Oh. I think I finally got it. So I went down to the house and in between phone calls, husband was able to figure it out for me. I still ended up using my little white paper angle I had cut out, but he helped me to figure out how long the sides of each of the triangles should be. Yes! That looks right! Woo! So I got all eight of those cut out correctly. It only took me about three hours longer than it should have, and believe it or not, I was good at math at one time. Yay! It was quite the fiasco putting this together, so this is how it ended up at this stage here. Okay, I have more complaining this to do. This... Oh. Anyway, it said to cut all these like this, blah blah blah, but when you cut them all the same, then these things don't fit right. Here, I got one together, but see I had to recut the other direction so that they'll fit. And... I know that this is supposed to be cut here, but husband said go ahead and glue it all up and then we'll cut them when it's all glued up. So yay for that. So what I'm doing now is I'm going back over eight of them and I am cutting the other direction to get it to work. So I fixed those eight and then started assembling them, which are the louver sections. It took some time, but I finally figured out to make sure that the angles matched and that the grooves were thick enough for the louver to fit. Well, these frustrating things turned out a lot better than I expected them to, do, to turn out. Look at that, yay. And husband said he's gonna cut these at the angle for me. So I marked those and husband ran them through the table saw at the angle that he needed to be cut. I painted a few of the parts light gray, and then I painted a few of the parts dark gray. So, I discovered that this was supposed to be not up, but flat. So I made two of these wrong. Ah, uh, I think it's funny. So I've got to fix those before I can paint them. Weird, beards. So I ripped those apart and then put them back together the way they were supposed to go. Well, these things are dry and they're not the greatest, but they're gonna go together like that. And I wanted to paint this a different color. So a lot of them are messed up like this. So I'm going to just cut more of this wood and paint it and put it right there. I think that will look cool. So I ripped those down, sanded them, and then painted them the darker color. I was very excited about assembling the whole entire thing. So first I put together the louver ring. I used wood glue and then I also used CA glue with the 2P10 activator just so I could get these strange angles to adhere quickly. Then I attached the ring that connects to the louver ring then attach those to the thicker ring. Woo! Hello! Needless to say, I was very excited to be getting this thing done. Let's do it! Let's do it, people! Then I put on those extra boards I made, and I'm so glad I made these because they covered the visible cuts where the louvers slide into, and also those mistake cuts. And they also added a nice color contrast too. Then I added the top curvy pieces, There's some gaps, but then there's some spots that don't have gaps. <laughs> so, oh well, whatever. Whatever. Then added the last ring to the top of that. Then the roof section to the top of that. Then husband came in to finish off the rest of the roofing materials. And he added a longer piece of the metal to help with holding it to be more even. Then he put on the roofing felt tar paper. And three layers of shingles. He made a little cap out of a stove pipe top. Then put a layer of chicken wire around the inside to keep the birds from getting in through the louvers. 
Do you want at least some some Oh! Holy cow! Yeah! That's close. Living in the west part of Oregon most of my life, I never heard thunder like this. So central Oregon is a lot different. It reminds me of Louisiana thunderstorms. But apparently this isn't the norm for here, though. And Wally really doesn't like it. And it was done! We did paint part of the wood that was showing beneath the shingles, and then it was ready to go up. Husband got up on top of the roof, and I stood off to one side while he turned it until we decided where it would go and look just right. Gibbs was over there with me, too. Husband put some tar all around it and used really long screws to put it in place. So those directions were very hard to follow, and Husband agrees. But I got it together, and I don't think it's going to crumble apart up there. Husband is working on the inside of the clubhouse now, and when he gets that all done, then I'm going to do a build video of the entire thing. Here's what it looks like now. It's been a big project, and we are hoping that the grandkids enjoy it for a long time. So the cupola looks like a little hat up there. Thanks for joining us, everyone, and we'll see you next time. Bye!